What's up guys? Welcome to this Aspen Heises course and as the name implies this is a course in which you will learn how to make your first simulation. So if you have been working with Aspen Heises before this is definitely not the course for you. This course is for those that haven't been working with Aspen Plus before or maybe they just know a little bit on Heises but they don't have the time or they haven't been spending that much time in Aspen Heises or maybe they are a little bit or not that familiarized with Aspen Heises and they want to retake Aspen Heises. So this is definitely the course for you guys. So if you have no idea on how to start your simulation, let's start it. So first things first, congratulate you in enrolling in the course. I'm very happy that you decided to grow your knowledge in Aspen Heises. And this course is really just to let you know on what are we going to be doing through all the course. It's very simple. It's about one hour, one hour and a half course. We're going to be working through this single simulation. And what I want to learn, or what I want you to learn is about the process. I want you to feel it. I want you to know it. What is the streams? What is the objective or the so-called problem statement? What are the requirements? What are the unit operations that we're going to be working with? Uh, the streams, uh, connectivity and all that. Then afterwards that you know what's the process we will start doing the simulation we start with the physical property environment which is the first step in any simulation which is essentially setting up our universe so what does this mean essentially we need to set up our component list we need to add all the components that we will be using through all the simulation and then we need to select a fluid package or a property method whatever way you want to call it is the method in which we're going to be setting the rules on how to get properties, how to model the binary interactions, mixing interactions, do you want ideal, do you want real, equation of states, and so on. All these sets of rules can be set up by literally one click. So you just click, I don't know, in this case we're going to be using the Peng Robinson, and you don't need to do any kind of calculation, Aspen Heises will do it for you. Then. We continue with the simulation environment, which has two main parts. Part number one is the flow sheet, how to work with it, how to add streams, how to add uh, or remove uh, unit operations, blocks, and so on. And part number two is unit operations. We want to learn how to simulate the unit operations that we saw in the process before, how to simulate it in HISIS. So if you saw a reactor or a combustion chamber, how do we simulate that in HISIS? If we saw a distillation column, how can we simulate that? Which block is the recommended one? And so on. Then we learned what type of data do we need to input through all these unit operations, how to run them. And eventually what we want to do as engineers is always get the results. We're going to learn about getting results, what's the workbook, how to get specific results on blocks, how to get specific results of streams, and so on. Then afterwards, we're going to be working through these case studies. In my opinion, case studies is the fun part because once that you learned how to simulate processes and run them and get results, now let's see the fun part, which is as a process engineer, what happens when there is a change of temperature, what happens when there is a change of process, a change of composition, or if we need to change a compression or a pumping system and so on. What happens with the process and what will be the counterbalance as an engineer that we need to do in order to avoid the change of product specification. Okay guys, so once again, welcome to the course. If you have any doubt, please let me know and let's go to the next lecture.